What I have is a celebration of black entrepreneurship, not just in Tulsa, but around the world. This magazine is another avenue for us to tell stories of overlooked visionaries and those who are, are realizing dreams, visions, and ideas across the globe. When you think about building platforms like this for entrepreneurs, why is this necessary, especially right now in America? Yeah, representation matters, and for far too long, I think black entrepreneurs, after the wake of George Floyd, it's been more of a moment, but I want to make sure this isn't just a moment, this is a movement, and this is part of that. So this wasn't just 2020, not just 2021, but 2023, making sure we are still celebrating and honoring uh, black entrepreneurs who are realizing dreams and visions every day. The train is calling you too, I'm serious, whistling. <laughs> When you think about the future, what do you hope to see more of, especially right here in Tulsa? In Tulsa, uh, people championing others. One thing I've been so overwhelmed about is the response that we've gotten for Greenwood Ave. I am not a native Tulsa. I've been here since I was 11 years old, so 20 plus years. But the response from descendants, from survivors, from those who have been born and bred in Greenwood, are this resonates with them and they're championing that as well. So the crowd behind me, the people here, the multicultural, the diversity, is everyone is, is embracing this idea and I hope to see that carry on.